implicit differentiation, we basically, basically are going to drive everything where it's at. Look right here. Do you see a product rule? So this becomes a product rule. Derive x squared. Leave y. Is that okay? Plus leave x squared. What's the derivative of y? y prime. You could write dy dx. I think it just gets ugly. Just don't confuse y prime with y to the first. Okay, just keep that in your head. You never put y to the first because y. It's y. So whenever you see a, a, a first power, that means prime. Okay, that was the first piece. Do you also see the second piece is another product rule? Do you see this being a product rule? It's plus. So the second one is derive the first. Now when you derive this, do you understand that would be 2y? But when you derive a y, you also get a y prime. It's 2y y prime. Because with the chain rule, think of the chain rule. The derivative of y squared is 2y. But then when you derive the inside, y, you get y prime. It's the chain rule. The reason you didn't put x prime over here because x prime is 1. So anyways, that would be 2y y prime. A lot of people forget that y prime. It's very commonly lost. Leave the x plus leave the y squared derive x, which is 1. And that equals, what's the derivative of 2? Or negative 2? 0. Always be happy when you see a constant when you derive that. Go, yes, that's easy. OK, now, that is our derivative. But usually, we want to get y prime now by itself because you want to find the derivative. y prime equals blank. The derivative equals blank. So somehow we got to finagle all this to get y prime by itself. So this process is first to get y prime on one side. So if I look at this piece and this piece, don't you have a y prime? I'm going to leave those two pieces together on the left side. And then, are you okay with me minusing this piece and this piece over? This piece and this piece, can I minus over to the zero side? Move it over. So you get it equals basically 2xy, oh, negative 2xy, I'm minusing it over. And minus that over, you get minus y squared. We moved, er we, we basically left the y primes here, moved everything else to the other side. Our next step in order to get the y prime by itself is, is there a GCF of y prime? Do you see the y prime GCF? So we get y prime equal, no, that's not equals. y prime out. When I pull a y prime out of here, we're left with x squared. When I pull a y prime out of here, we're left with 2xy, or 2yx. I just switched the x and the y. So again, we pull the y prime out of both of these, a GCF. Just leave this side for now. Just leave that side for now. OK, now, how do we get rid of, how do you get y prime by itself? You divide by that. Gone. Do you see y prime equals, is there a GCF on top? There is a y in common. I'm actually putting a negative 1y. Because they're both negative, I kind of want to get the negative out. What's that leaving me with? Looks like 2x and then plus y. And on bottom, we have an x. Leave me X.